Welcome everybody, I'm Avian, and we're getting ready to play Pokemon uh, Fire Red. Um, it's been a bit since I've played this, uh, so we're going to see if I remember how. Various buttons will be explained. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as a hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventures, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. There we go. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for a battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Obviously, I'm a girl. Let's begin with your name. What is it? All right. There we go. Right, so your name is Avian. Yes. Sure is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Or um, what was his name now? Hmm. Green, Gary, Kaz, or Toru? I'm trying to think. I actually don't know what I want to do with because Gary is the anime one. I feel like the original games, because this is the remake, I feel like the original ones, his name was Blue. Um, so actually, let's go with Kaz. That'll be a nice contrast, Avian. Was it Kaz? That's right. I remember now. His name is Kaz. Really, Oak, you should know your own grandkid's name. Avian. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with the Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Yeah, played with them. Yes. Okay, it's time to go. All right. I think this is computer. Oh, that's not what I want to do. All right. Here's our mom. Mom, right, all girls dream of traveling. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Really, Mom, what other life advice do you get from the TV? Alright. 
girl with her hair and pigtails is walking up a brick road. I better go to... Oh, that's the um, Wizard of Oz. Okay. Okay, we're in Pallet Town. Hi, Avian. My brother Cass is out at Grandpa's lab. I've been playing Golden Sun so much, I keep thinking I can push the one button to run, and it doesn't work that way on this game. City Pokemon Professor Oak's Aid. Sleep in this Professor Oak's Aid. Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. And the Pokemon's trainers hold him in high regard. Yes, Cass, what's on the... It's only Avia. Gramps isn't around. Well, I thought he was looking for me. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. Well, all right, then. We gotta go find Oak. Well, that's my house. How is it I'm getting lost in a town with three buildings? Alright. Well, I guess Oak must be up here. Oak, oh, hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Okay. Well, that was easy. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Avian. There are three Pokemon here. Ha! The Pokemon are held inside these Pokemon balls. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. Cass, hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Look, be patient, Cass. You can have one, too. All right. I see. Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. So, I mean, you want to go with the grass Pokemon? No. I know what I want. I want a Squirtle if it's an option. There we go. Squirtle is your choice. It's one worth raising. So, you can send a water Pokemon Squirtle? Yes, please. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. You can receive the Squirtle from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to the Squirtle? Yep. All right, we're going to name our Squirtle. Oh, naming things, not my strong suits. Let's see. What? It's a male Squirtle. I've been watching a lot of Bridgerton lately. We're gonna name him Colin. I don't know why. Squirtle makes me think of Colin, but that's what we're going to do. There we go. Cass, I'll take this one. Cass received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. Thank you, sir. My Pokemon looks a lot tougher than yours. Fine. All right, now we can head out. Cast. Wait, Avian. Let's check out our own Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. I don't really want to. Fine. I guess we have to learn how to battle. Rival Cass would like to battle. Cass sent out Bulbasaur. Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Again. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? 
Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. Trainer that makes the other Pokemon's faint. Trainers faint by lowering the HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try paddling and see for yourself. All right. Oh, tackle's pretty good. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Our defense spell. All right, so now tackle should be even better. Lowering the foe's stats will put you at an advantage. There we go. I don't have anything. We won! We actually won that! I mean, that's opposite the way that the uh, fight circle is supposed to work, but... Hey, nice! Oh, nice! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon. Well, that's right, we get money with it then. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Can't make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. And Gramps, smell you later. Oh, rude thing. All right. If you can raise your young Pokemon by making a battle. It has to battle for it to grow. It's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank. Okay, I guess we're not ready for that yet. Technology is incredible. You can now st storm racing. All right. Say goodbye to mom before we leave. Mom, Avian. You should take a quick rest. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. All right. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips, let's start to open the menu. All right, let's go. Ooh, Pidgey. We don't have any Pokemon balls, do we? Well, I guess we'll have to get some and come back. I am not going to play this with the goal of completely completing the Pokedex. I'm going to play it until the, like, the story end of the game, and then we'll move on to the next one. Viridian City. Are you a train worker at a Pokemon Mart? It's part of a convenience chain selling all sorts of items. Please put us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here we go. I'll put the potion away in the Pyx item pocket. Okay, I'm good with that. Those are flowers down there. Okay. It makes me sad to have to battle without any Pokeballs. Okay, let's try this again.
There we go. Hey, bird level seven. Oh, we learned bubble. week. We're going to go ahead and run. I am not in the game of letting my Pokemon faint. Right, Viridian City. Final moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points. To replenish, rest your tired Pokemon at Pokemon Center. All right, so we want a Pokemon Center, and we want to find a Pokemon Mart. There's Center. Hello. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. All right, let's see what's upstairs. If I remember upstairs is a trainer sitter. Yeah, we don't need anything up here. Pokemon Center, seal your tired or hurt or fainted Pokemon. They make all the Pokemon completely healthy. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Please feel free to use the PC in the corner. The receptionist told me so. It's so kind of her. Aww. All right. You want to know about the two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? Sure. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch that, and your Pokemon aren't staff by Weedle's poison sting. Oh, Pokemon. Here we go. Hey, you came from Palatown. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I have you take it to him? Okay. Put the eggs parcel in the key items bucket. All right. So please say hi to Professor Oak for me, too. But I want to buy some Pokeballs. Fine. I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon needs to come. The shop does good business and antidotes. All right, so we want to explore the city a little bit more, I guess. Then we can take the things back to them. But I really wanted some Pokeballs. Oh, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Okay, be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. What's on the blackboard? Blackboard lists Pokemon status problems during battles. Which topic do you want to read? A okay. cat. I meant it. I've played enough Pokemon. I know what those mean. Those Pokeballs at your waist? You have Pokemon, aren't you? It's great that you carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Well, we can't cut it down yet. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry. He hasn't had his coffee yet. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. It's private property. Okay, so I guess we definitely, definitely have to take the um, parcel to Oak first. My daddy loves Pokemon, too. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. All right. Well, back to Pallet Town, I guess. That's all, yep.
Maybe after we give him the parcel, we can get some Pokeballs. Pokemon. Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. We delivered the parcel. Ah, oh, it's a custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, oh right. I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. That's a high-tech encyclopedia. Avian and Kev's, take these with you. All right. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here's some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Yay, finally, we got our Pokeballs. All right. When a Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw the Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. Healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, this was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I borrowed her a tan mount for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. I mean, haha. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Real bait for you, Avian. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to go see Daisy anyway. Because I have a feeling she might be considerably nicer than Kaz. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Ha! I'm going to have to get hide in his pocket. All right. So, let's see. All right, so we want to go to Viridian City. This right up here is the Indigo. Okay, so we can't go there until we've gotten all the other gem badges eventually, which I don't think we know about just yet. Pewter City. Smelling City, what are these? Mount Moon, Diglett's Cave, Viridian Forest, Solidon City, Saffron City, Lavender Town, Rock Tunnel. City Safari Zone. Pokemon. Ooh. Okay. Alright. So let's head out again. This time we're going to catch some Pokemon. Here we go. Pidgey. Oh, Pidgey appeared. Go, Colin. There we go, Pokeballs. I'm always nervous, even though I know theoretically it should catch. Yes, we did it. All right. Got to add it to the Pokedex. All right, Pidgey doesn't like to fight, hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food, such as the small bugs. 
All right. So, question is, what do we need, Pidgey? Um, oh, let's see. I said I was going to name them after Richardson characters, did I not? This one is a female, if I remember correctly. Captured book. Yes. All right. Um, you know what? Let's actually name it after the youngest. Let's name it Hyacinth. Actually, one of my personal favorites. If you've read the books, uh, you'll probably know why. But I'm not going to give anybody any spoilers. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oops. Well. Try this again. Oh, Ratata. that up. Let's try this again. Right, we eventually meet somebody who will can change the names. So we will meet, we'll just call her Hyacinth for now, and when we get to where we can rename a Pokemon, um, which I think we can do, uh, we will actually have it spelled out correctly. It'll be fine. See the name raider. That's who we need. Name raider is in Lavender Town, so that we will shall do our best to remember. Okay. I can't believe I did that.
Lots of Pidgeys in this area. Okay, I probably need to rearrange my Pokemon so that Hyacinth can get some experience. But first, let's hit the Poké Center. Yes, please. Now let's see if the Pokemon will let us buy anything. Hi there, may I help you? Bye. Right. How many would you like? We'll start with 10. Pokeball, do you want 10? That will be 2,000. Yes, please. Here we are. Nope. Anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. All right. Looks like he's out of our way now, maybe. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Well now, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Most the red box you have. Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex ox updates his data. You don't know how to catch Pokemon? I suppose I'd better show you that. No, we know. Oh, come on. Well. That's fine. I will also say it's a little weird that it's a new in in invention and he, um... Yeah. Weedle was caught. Now, tell me that was his education was that? Here, this too. Ooh, teach you TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It'll tell you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Um, thank you. Expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to battle. What's on this side? Oh, there is a gem. There is a gem here. Okay. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Well, I guess that means we have to continue on and hit this one later. Not like I have enough training anyway. Route two. I feel like there's a nice little marching beat here. Is that a... No, that required a cut tree. Okay. Tell me to be small, but don't understand this wicked bite. Have you caught one? Not yet. Tried. Accidentally knocked it out instead. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. I'll do my best. Learn to speak in Pokemon before attempting to capture. When healthy, they may escape. I came here with some friends to catch some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into Pokemon battles. Thank you for the heads up. I 
to say something. Caterpie! Try another tackle and then we'll try a pokeball. No! Oh! to be a little bit more strategic here than in Golden Sun. So Caterpie turns into a butter butterfree. So we're gonna be green skin. When it grows, it sheds its skin, it covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. Well, I mean, not upon the butterfree, but so we are gonna name this one. I already know what I'm gonna name this one. We're gonna name this one Eloise. might be pushing it, but... That's good.
There we go. Alright, got a Weedle. Let's grab some sharp toxic barb of around two inches on the top of its head. Aim to the captured Weedle. Yes. Alright. Um. Did I hit no? I hit no. Ah, uh, well, there's another one we're gonna have to rename. We will have plenty of time to think about naming that one. If you have ideas on what to name the Weedle, let me know. Because clearly I messed that up as well. Yeah, I must have gone the wrong way. I can never have too many Pokeballs. But now I know where all these Pokeballs came from. There we go. Alright. Oh no. I need to quit hitting the wrong button. Oh no, now we're poisonous. We're gonna have to go back to Pokemon Center. If that's all I can do, then we should be fine.
Alright, we'll see if this will work. A little bit at a time. There we go. We did it. All right. We should be all right. And there's the poison. Yep, oh, there Colin fainted. Now we found the antidote. Come out of your Pokemon trap. Ah, I should have known that was a battle. All right. Catcher Doug. No, I got a Pidgey. We'll see if this works. like to do, what I like to do is try to keep all the Pokemon in my party at the same level. Got an antidote. Enough to get me up to five. Sand attack, sand attack's good. Oh, we jumped an extra level. probably gonna lose. Why not? See if we can get a poison sting out before. This is really bad trainering on my part, but...
gonna keep doing it. Keep chipping away at it. See how far down I can get him. Mildly more effective than a poison sting. I feel like this is what this is going to be, just one little bit at a time constantly. There we go. Finally. By the skin of our teeth, we did it. Just getting through here without getting into any more. There we did. We'll have to come back.
All right, so this seems like a good spot to stop for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.